Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Pink Property Podcast. I'm Lee O'Brien. I'm here with my fellow director, David Kirby. Morning, David Lee. And um, yeah, started this week so far with a, with a, with a snowy outcrop. We had a, a snowy weekend. Some areas of the country got it worse than we did, mm. but we uh, we had our dusting, didn't we? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> a little weekend. bit of fun, a little bit of snow. Um, washed away by Tuesday. Yeah, so we can yeah, get yeah, back yeah. into action, but. Uh, Nice, nice bit of snow, nice for the kids. And one of the things we thought we'd talk about um, sort of on that was that um, it does it does make a difference in some of the marketing. And, and obviously some of you might have launched a property at the beginning of, of this week and yeah. um, your outside shots might have a bit of the snow in them or, or might have yeah, snow on the car, snow on the ground. Um, and one of the things that we were discussing is it's a little bit like Christmas with Christmas decorations. It, it can really date a listing. So um, make sure that these photographs are refreshed. Um, the outside shots are redone again as the weather sort of it, you know, improves, but as the snow clears, because the snow can really date an image and um, people don't like to see that things have been on for a long period of time. So just a, yeah, just a quick tip really around um, at handling the weather and, and, and what's happening at the moment. But um, I think we might even get a bit more snow this weekend, they're saying as yes, well. Apparently so so. Yeah. It's uh, a bit in and out at the moment, typical January. Um, end of our first month this week, um, first month of 2021, um, tucked under our belts. It's been a, a good start. It's been an encouraging start. Have you felt the, in terms of expectations as to January for us? Yeah, I think we've been busy. We've, we've had some good, yeah, good figures and, and done some good business. I'd like a bit more and uh, I think we could, yeah, I think the buyers would like to see a bit more stock available. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're, yeah, we're stock driven at the moment and there's not quite enough coming on. Um, for sales and lettings, lettings is quieter, tenants are staying, obviously no one's being evicted uh, at the moment. So yeah, there's a lot of tenants staying put at the moment. So yeah, not much movement there. That's really coming to a head that in the in the rentals market, mm. isn't it? With, with yeah. people not actually leaving and the rental turnover sort of reducing dramatically. Um, yeah, absolutely. People, people simply aren't moving, are they? No, and, no, and, and no. so the, yeah, the, this supply and demand mm. is, mm. is getting to a head, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, very tricky to find something to rent at the moment. Yeah. So we've got a few vendors that are breaking chains and selling and moving out. Um, but yeah, it's proven a problem finding somewhere to, mm. to move to. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. No, it's interesting. I'm sure that will develop further. Mm. Um, Right Move and Zoopla have issued their first uh, stats of this year, um, covering the month, I think, sort of uh, all of December and into the first two weeks of January. Um, they've stated that it was the busiest ever start to a year. Um, the visits to the site on Right Move were up 30%, um, compared to the same point last year in 2020. Um, and the sort of inquiries that are going into the agents um, up 11% for buyer inquiries and up 22% for lettings inquiries. So yeah, this yeah. lettings thing is, yeah. is driving. It's a problem, um, it's a it problem at the moment. Potentially yeah. is, yeah. it is. Um, and according to Zoopla, House price growth in the UK is currently up 4.3% on average across the uh, across the nation. Um, and the supply of new property in the sales market is down by 12%. It kind of reflects what yep. we're seeing and feeling yep. here is that, yeah, there isn't enough new stuff coming on to, exactly. to satisfy the demand. Um, so yeah, there, there's a, sort of a, some in developing yeah. statistics that yeah. are coming yeah. out of the market yeah. this I week. Busy market, lots going on. Lots of people want to do stuff, but not quite enough stock coming to the market either for sale or for rent. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, but strong demand there and strong confidence still. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Um, stamp duty uh, is a big one that we've been talking about in the office this week, um, and probably the biggest concern or question or query that people are bringing up with us will stamp duty be extended past the end of March. Um, finally, we might have a, uh, an answer for that now. Um, there were enough uh, signatures on the petition for it to be taken to government. So uh, 1st of February, Monday, uh, tomorrow, uh, they will be talking in parliament about it. Yeah. So we should have an answer yeah, by Tuesday, well, whenever they Once do Once they it. do yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think they discuss it in the afternoon on Monday. 
think they're holding a special session to yeah. actually be able to discuss it because I don't think they were just having these general forced discussions in, in Parliament at the moment, but this one got well over the 100,000 signatures yeah. required and um, and sort of has forced the issue. And obviously with a bit of a ticking time bomb, really, it's, it's <laughs> coming at the answered. end of March. Yeah, yeah. Um, they need to say yes or no, because um, yeah. at the moment, yeah, it's not being extended, but there's a lot of people with cross fingers hoping it will be. So, What do you think it will do to the market either way? Yeah, I think if they do extend it, it will bring another little boost. Mm. Um, my concern is it's going to slow down the transactions again because there won't be any urgency yeah. to get through by 31st of March. So I don't want conveyances and mortgage companies taking their foot off the gas. Um, if it doesn't get extended, which at the moment it isn't, um, then pressures are still on for the yeah, 31st yeah. of March deadline for anyone that's currently trying to move by then. Um, locally, I think there's enough demand for people to move. So I don't think it's going to... Uh, have a dip afterwards because they're talking so. in the press about this cliff edge that's coming yeah. for the end of, of 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 March. But I think it's sort of hyped up, to be honest. We've got too I much think, demand at the moment, like uh, we've said. Yeah. There's not enough stuff coming on the market, mm. um, and we've got loads of demand. So yeah, I don't think it's going to have a massive. Yeah, and we took the decision at the beginning of this year for every sale that we put together to to be very very clear to all parties that this isn't going to go through by the end of yeah. March, um, so that these deals weren't put in yeah, under yeah, the yeah. proviso that yeah. there was going to be a saving made through stamp duty exactly. um, to try and limit that fall through. Yeah, so I yeah. think if we were going to see a cliff edge and dive yeah. in activity, it would be right now. Yeah, like yeah. I think if people yeah. were going to stop buying because of the stamp duty, they would be stopped buying it now. And Absolutely. this yeah. month certainly hasn't that, felt that, that in that, in that no. way. I think we've no. seen enough activity. There's going to be a natural wobble because there will be a percentage yeah. of people that need to move for that stamp duty reason, or that was the only reason they were moving. But I don't think to any, certainly not around here, to yeah. any significant amount. And I think they're, they're already in the system, aren't they? Those people, yeah. you know, they're not new people to, no, the, no, no, to no, the market. No, they're no. already, should be already buying something yeah. right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. We just need to know um, so that mm. people can make a decision on whether they're moving or not. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing is that, or should I, shan't I? Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah, we kind of need that answered. So Absolutely. I don't know how long it will take them to give us an answer yeah. after uh, after Monday, yeah. but hopefully it's quick, quick. and yeah. um, people yeah. can, can get on with their lives. Yeah. Um, a couple of questions this week um, from the audience, which we will, will cover over here. Um, first one, I think I'll give it straight to you, Dave, is, is it a buyer's or a seller's market right now? Yeah, so naturally with a, with a lack of supply and a strong demand, it should suggest that it's a seller's market. However, I think because of what's going on in the world with the pandemic and people being a bit nervous financially mm. um, and this stamp duty uh, hovering, um, it's not quite the seller's market that some sellers would like. There's a lot of people looking, but buyers are being quite sensible Still at the moment. Still caution, so, yeah, in the absolutely. Market. So mm. we can have these busy uh, viewing days and lots of people viewing properties on weekends and, and there's a lot of activity, but we're not getting half a dozen offers, people fighting over asking price. Um, they're paying proper money, but, but not getting carried away. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bit of each. Yeah, <laughs> a bit of each. Yeah. And that has yeah. changed probably from the summer where that was happening, wasn't yeah. it? There was yeah. that sort of bum fight yeah. of um, yeah, 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 over asking yeah. price yeah. and competitive bidding yeah. Um, yeah. that has just eased a little bit. I think bit it has eased, yeah. 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 I think people are too nervous and a bit too cautious to do that. Still there to buy, absolutely. Mm. And we've got plenty of buyers and plenty of properties being sold, but we haven't seen no silly yeah, yeah, people yeah. getting carried away on a bidding war. Too so. over excited. Yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, the second one was, which local areas are you seeing the highest demand for? Um, yeah. I think we've got, yeah, you've got an opinion, I've got an yeah, opinion yeah, yeah, this yeah, actually. Yeah, absolutely, but, yeah. Um, I'll let I, you go first. I think the, um, the, the family home market has been really strong for us over yeah. the past six months. Um, we've seen the sort of outerlying estates of, of the main towns yeah. and, and certainly into the villages, but probably, 600 to 900 for us yeah. has been a really, really busy market. Yeah. Um, and actually, there hasn't been a real focus on a particular area. I think it's no. more of a house type yeah, for yeah. us that's, yeah. that's been very popular. So there's some larger estates around the outskirts and the periphery of Bishop Stortford. 
they've got this type of home, this yeah, six yeah. to nine hundred um, thousand pound home, four bed, detached, double garage, nice yeah. garden, very well presented. That stuff I think has been really quite hot yeah, this year. Absolutely. Um, and then the villages again with that little bit bigger garden and potentially even higher than the, the six to nine hundred mark. Yeah, that's yeah. been very popular. So yeah. that's where I think I've seen yeah, real yeah. interest. No, absolutely, it has been. I think this year specifically, so since Christmas, the lower, I say lower end, the, the sort of first time buyer territory of a two bed house. Um, yeah, we had a modern one in Thorley, Bishop Stortford, uh, 330,000 pounds, lots of interest sold in its first week of marketing. Um, and that was a real sign that we found some first time buyers, investors, downsizers. Mm. Yeah, there was a sort of a, a new market there this year that end of last year or second half of last year was very quiet yeah so actually, yeah, yeah. yeah two bed sort of starter homes at 300 325 330 that's been a bit busier that's, that's been, been a, been a bit busier. So there's a demand mm. for that again now uh, yeah which was interesting to see so yeah. oh good brilliant well look thank you as always um for the questions um yeah Great to sit down and, and yep. have a run through this week. End of January, done. Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, yep. and on, on to February now um, for us. But um, thank you very much as ever for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and, um, and get all the regular updates that are coming through from us. There's some fantastic properties coming in this next week. Um, some beautiful stock that we'd love to show you. And, um, and we'll see you again this time next week. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. See you next week.